Hi, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, today we are going to talk about Hadrash MX-5 and Tonex. And if you have both of them, this video is going for you. So, when I bought my uh, Tonex, uh, I in initially at that time I had a Podco uh, from Line 6. Uh, it was a very good multi FX processor. I, can't, I, I think I have a tons of video in my channel on Podgo. But the thing is, uh, Podgo did have some his own limitations so and I was trying to uh, you know explore something else and as a fanboy of line 6 uh, uh, it was very hard for me to you know really switch for something else uh, uh, beside uh, any products from line 6 uh, because the, I, I, I just used to with that sound for many many years uh, then uh, there was a discount in Amazon and uh, suddenly I, I decided to, okay fine, let's give it a try with the Headrush MX-5. The thing is, uh, the reason behind I switched to MX-5 is that it's MIDI capability. You know, it can change the presets of the Tone X. I was trying to do some gig with that um, Tone X, but the thing was, when I was doing gig with the Tone X, uh, I found out that I need some more FX block or then I started to buy some uh, pedals like uh, distortion pedal, chorus pedal, reverb pedal, delay pedal, and uh, the most important that is the 10 band EQ pedal. Uh, I I made a pedal board. I did I, I did a gig. The tone was special. It, it was really awesome. The, but the main point was when I was trying to switch from the reef tone, from the solo tone, from or from the clean tone. It was a nightmare for me because for the last all years I, I, I was just a single switch guy. So it means like just click the switch on your pedal board and you get your solo tone. Just click another, it will be reef, another for the clean or so and so. But it was it was really getting hard for me. So I was start looking like what else is there and it has to be cheap, obviously, because I have a budget to uh, do all those things. So uh, I was trying to look like what else is there, which can give me all those pre-effects and post-effects, and still also can change the preset uh, of the tonex. Then uh, I was digging out, digging out, digging out. There was like Boss uh, GX hundred, I think the new one. Uh, there was a, another cheap option was there that from the line six obviously from the line six that is the uh, port HD 500 or 500x it also have a MIDI program capability uh, but I wanted to try something entirely new so I give it a try I wanted to give it a try with that uh, Hedrush MX-5 then <coughs> Uh, it came out, uh, they give in, in, in the box, this, they give you, they, they will supply something like this. I don't know if you can see it or not. Mm, it's very hard. Uh, yeah. Nope. You can't see that. Okay, now. So, they, it's an, it's an a MIDI cable. It, it comes with a pair of it. Uh, so, this one, it, it will go to that MIDI in or MIDI out and this one you need to have a MIDI extension to connect it to your another device or your MIDI device then uh, I bought an MIDI extended extension cable I think I have it somewhere here Oops. yeah yeah something a MIDI extension cable yeah it has a uh, two mail port five pin mail port uh, of this uh, I think these are pretty cheap I, I bought it from Amazon in uh, I think like 10 12 bucks then you just need only one cable it came with two of this but you just need only one cable so you just need that uh, MIDI out of the MX-5 and that will go to the MIDI in of the Tone X. Now I'll show you uh, how you connect each of them. It's uh, 
Mm, not that much complicated, I think. But yeah, you can give it a try. If I can do that, you can also do that. It's, 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 it's not a rocket science. So I'll show you in a bit what is that. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how this, how you are going to connect this Hadrush MX-5 to your uh, Tone X. So, yeah, it's really hard. Okay, but I don't know. You can see that this is the FX end. This is the FX return. So the FX end means the signal is. Uh, it's sending out from this MX-5. So the signal from this MX-5, this, the, uh, uh, the signal is sending out this MX-5 will go to that input. So this is the input. Yeah, you can, if you can see, I don't know. So the first one is the input. Second one is the output mono. So in the tonic. So it will go to that FX and, and then the FX return, so the return means uh, the signal is came out from that MX5 has been processed somewhere else that is our tone X and then that process sound is coming to the MX5. Now, oh, now the main part. This one, these two guys is the MIDI in, first one is the MIDI in, second is the MIDI out. We don't need the MIDI in because we are not uh, changing any presets inside our MX-5. We are we are using our MX-5 to change the presets of the Tonex. So we will hook up this cable. You'll get it when you buy this MX-5. And then you need that extension cable. That extension cable will go to go to that MIDI in of the Tonex. I just want you to focus on that name and the thing. See if that changes. Changes? Yeah. Great, right? Now, changes. Changes, right? Again. Go, change, change, change. Right? Now, I'd like to show you how you can also do that. How I do the, uh, change the presets from the MX-5 to the Tone X. What do you need to do? Go to the three dot, make a new rig, free up some couple of blocks, and then go to the plus, go to the FX loop, select the default. Then, Go to that uh, hardware assign. This is the most important part. See, in the MIDI program, if I change it, sorry, yeah, so it says 17, right? So it means uh, Tone X, as you know, Tone X has 128 uh, presets, and each of the presets from the bank one to the last bank. Each of the preset has their own MIDI program. So the first preset in the first bank is the MIDI program number one. The second one is number two. Third one is number three in this way. So I already set it up first 16 one. So it, it's just showing me 17. So the, like the drawback or I can say limitations of the MX-5 that it don't allow you to, you know, the same MIDI program signal in the different uh, presets. So you need to be careful about it. So. So now the program 17 has been assigned over there. Now save. I wanted to save it as, save as a new rig. I want to name it as a tone X 17. Because it's a 17 number tone. So it's done. Let's go to the, yeah, 17. Okay. Now I wanted to show you something else. Oh just to see that this has been working. Yeah, look into here, it should change. No, it's not changing. What's happening? Is it changing? Oh, it did change, sorry. I think the tone name is, yeah, 
so it did change see why it's not changing the 16 this one is changing but this is not why mm -hmm. now go back again now it can happen to you guys yeah see hardware sign the MIDI program it didn't saved so we do need to save it 17 yeah you need to save it here save you stupid again save save two times okay now here if it changes it do change see change changed yeah, this is how we'll do that. Yeah, so as you can see, it's been connected, hooked up, powered up. It's it's a uh, it's it's really took me some time to get it done. But the beauty is that uh, as as you see when I was browsing through the, all the presets from the MX5, that there are some pre uh, pre effects and the post effects. When I tried it first, it had a latency. And it was really, really, really annoying for me. It, it was just made me so pissed off that I wanted to sell that unit, that MX5, that that latency. I don't want any latency when the FX loop is on. I was trying to go through the, all those forums, uh, head rush forum, and everything. They also say that yeah, they have a latency, and they, they and they can't do anything about it. But recently there was an update. Uh, uh, a firmware update came for MX5, and after that, uh, firmware update, the latency was gone, and I, I'm just so pleased that the firmware was came out, and the latency is normal there, and uh, I'm going to use this uh, setup. That's that's what I showed you the uh, Sony Cake Volume and Wah uh, Hedra uh, MX5 and the Tonex. This this three unit I'm going to. I'm, I'm a geek coming up in the, uh, I think in a couple of weeks, uh, I'm going to use that one. Now I hear some sounds about that MX-5, uh, with the MX-5 connected with the Tonex. So for this demonstration, uh, I choose the uh, Meshabugi Mark V uh, as my reef tone and also my solo tone. Just a bit change here and there. and. Uh, and a clean tone, I think it's from 2020. Yeah, so first the distortion. Nice, very nice. Now going to the Some cleans. Hope this video will uh, help you a lot. Uh, if you have any questions or something, feel free to comment, ask me any questions, uh, and uh, 
Unfortunately, I moved on to Hadrash MX-5. Sorry, the Podgo guys. Uh, I wish uh, I'll, I'll, I'll try to come back to Line 6 in the near future. Uh, but not for now. Not for now. So I'm happy with my rig and everything. Uh, let me know uh, what, what, what's your rig. Uh, are you using only just Headrush or are you even interested for the Tonex? Uh, I, I, I need to make some video on Tonex. <laughs> this pedal has changed my life. It, it changed my the perception to the, uh, towards the guitar tone, what I was looking for. So I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.